This is Insight with O, sharing what I have found helpful in my healing and trauma recovery journey. Let's dive into my Awareness 5 way of life practices. In this episode, we take a look at W, the second of the five practices. Be sure to go back to episode one and the letter A, which stands for actualize. What's really going on here? The Awareness 5 is an awareness practice to facilitate improved well-being that really helped me. Five techniques I use to support transformation in how I live in the moment and how I am in the world around me. A practice of self-awareness, self-resilience and self-empowerment. Let's dive into the second practice. W. Words. Feeling empowered in the knowledge that thoughts are not facts. Thoughts enter and exit our minds when we allow them to flow. This unfiltered feedback is not factual or true. It is our interpretation and form beliefs we attach to the thoughts that flow through. Can we begin to see beyond the words that pass through our minds? Can we not become attached to them? As Deb Dana says, story follows state. A story can form based off our body and nervous system state. When we are feeling low or down, the thoughts that enter our minds tend to be more negative and hopeless in nature. The thoughts that enter when we are anxious tend to be more erratic, full of panic and racing. Our primal need for safety can lead us to be looking for danger and if the body feels unsafe, it will lead to more debilitating thoughts. Once we begin to cultivate a steadiness of mind, we can stand back and observe the thoughts as they pass through. We can be empowered to not be overrun and controlled by them. We may have the same sort of thoughts coming up a lot and we may form a belief based on this content within the mind. We can return to the knowledge that thoughts are not fact. It is important to understand and respect the feedback loop from the body to brain and the brain to body. We can mindfully observe the thoughts that just arise in our minds but we can also engage in intentional thinking in the moment or integrate forms of visualization. This can feed the body and support our state to feel more regulated so the power of the words we think and use outwardly can support our well-being as a whole. I encourage people to explore the power of mindfulness and meditation practices to facilitate the experience of being with the mind without attaching to the content that comes in. Seeing these thoughts as unfiltered feedback and quite often just random narrative based on past experiences. Remember, just because you think it, it doesn't make it true. Thoughts are not facts. Thank you for listening to Insight with O and we'll be back next time to look at the third of the five practices. A for anatomy, being aware of body sensations and our own neuroception. Look out for the latest awareness-based podcast episodes and come say hi on Instagram. Thank you for listening and exploring human experience.